Hello guys, who here, back on another video. This time around, sort of a follow-up to my guide because I see a lot of people uh, in the world chat, not really on my video because I do explain it in the guide video. I feel like I really do explain it, but this video is gonna be a follow-up video talking about how you are going to acquire, you know, the foods, the banner and all that stuff and finding the NPC that seemed to be a little bit confusing on how you are going to get that. So I'm gonna explain it step by step. I'm not gonna go into detail about how you uh, you know craft the uh, you know the first food and the second food and so on but that you can see in the video in the guide video how I do that if you want to go into more specifics so this is more just uh, how we're acquiring the different buffs and foods and stuff like that to see the NPCs and see the monsters and all that stuff so I'm gonna make this a shorter video just more like a TLDR on how you're gonna step by step getting so I will do step by step but uh, if you're of course starting right out, but if you want to know how you get the banner for example You can you know skip ahead a little bit, but in the description is the guide link So if you want to go into more details around each step around, you know the guide to the quest line Which also sort of takes you through step by step how you're acquiring things You can do so as well, but this video is just gonna be sort of snappy going through every single thing So let's head into the very first step, which is the first food as well All right, so the first step is to acquire also the first food Food, and you do that by going to Cube's lead. He has the oven right next to him, and that is where you're gonna get your first food. And this is gonna allow you to see the flux beast and the triceratops and all that stuff. The triceratops, of course, being in the Neon City biome and the sub biome, the Lumi biome as well. And of course, the other ones are in the Jurassic jungle as well. The more T Rex ones are in here. So uh, you can only, or by equipping this food, uh, you can craft it and you can have it in your inventory. It's not gonna dis uh, you know, the timer is not gonna go down. It's not gonna go decaying. Uh, first, when you equip it in your, uh, you know, food slot in your character, you, it's gonna decay. You have 15 minutes and then you can see all these beasts uh, as it says here, once eaten, you can see an otherwise invisible luck beast in the jungle. But it also works, of course, not only for the, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't say for the Indian city biome because it, it's both. <laughs> so you can see both the enemies there. And that's why this is where you're gonna get your first because you wanna acquire yourself by defeating these. You can of course get the allies and the mounts and stuff like that. But you wanna get yourself these this meat as well. This is so we can craft the next thing basically. So, uh, you know, get this food. This is step number one. Then get the meat by defeating the enemies. And then uh, we can head on to step number two. All right, so step number two, as I just explained, in step number one, we need to get on to the next food, and it's the feast. And it's basically just the same thing. Uh, as you can see, it's also the seven spice and the tots, and the same thing here, but now also the meat that I just explained. So, and the meat, of course, if you kind of jump to step number two, uh, it's gonna be where you get it, of course, from those beasts that you can see. So with this, it allows you to still see the beast. So this, uh, you can see the beast, nothing else but the beast in the different biomes. This one, you can also see the beasts and you can also see the treasures, the treasures that are in the uh, steering wheel biome. That's uh, when you go basically to either the drowned world or any of the prime worlds. There's a zone or a biome that has like a steering wheel. It's also the water worlds, treasure islands. It's what it's called. There you can see treasure uh, all over the place. Not all over the place, I guess, <laughs> but most of the places. It's gonna be pretty easy to find them, especially in dungeons and stuff like that. It's not the, like something to do with bosses or enemies. It's like, things you can see there and this is also where the banner comes in I'll explain how you obtain the banner but the banner basically does what these foods do well it this does what this do and this do what this do if that makes any sense so this basically when you don't have to keep uh, you know crafting the food as soon as you require the banner again I explain that later on how you acquire the banner the banner is going to replace the food. So you don't need to, after you get the banner, you don't have to craft food anymore. It basically shows you everything you need to see, except for the NPC. And I'll explain that also, the NPC in the, like later on, um, I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to that. But basically the banner just replaces these two steps. So if you have the banner, you can, you, can, you can skip step number one and step number two, and then it just does exactly the same thing as everything else. So uh, yeah, just run around with this one. You can see the treasures, you can see the enemies, uh, the, you know, the beasts as well. So yeah, uh, but step number two is just to acquire this feast because now we can get the treasures and now we can get the coins and the coins are important. So let's move on to step number three. 
All right, so for step number three, we have to gain the buff to see the NPC. And this is where the uh, banner also comes in. As you can see, I don't have any food right on right now, but I do have the, um, I do have, I don't know why it says this, but uh, if I change it here, it also still looks like this, but it is actually the banner. I don't know if there's uh, any bug with this or whatever, but it happened to me before. Uh, what can fix it is just, you know, you close down the game and open it up again, and then it will turn back to this one, but it does work. As you can see right over here was the crafting bench. So if I get that one, you can see that's the crafting bench. The same thing works with the food. You do have to have the food on to see this bench as well, but I'm just showing this because I don't have any food on me right now. And I don't want to craft any because you know, the banner does the set to the same thing. This is also where we craft the banner. You can see right here, it costs you a, a fragment of uh, luck. And this is the one we're going to get from the other NPC. Actually five different NPCs, or it's the same NPC, but it has five different inventories. The other one that we're going to see. Uh, but you're going to need to gain this buff. And as you can see, this buff is also acting very weird. I was, I was, uh, you know, we can see I already crafted three things for the video uh, and I, it didn't refresh and I was like, what, the duration doesn't refresh. And then I waited out the timer and then when the timer went out, it just didn't go away. And then I relocked the game and now the timer is sort of gone like one uh, third or fourth of the way. So it's acting really weird. Just, you know, go in, go in. If you have the buff here, you're, you're able to see the NPC. And that's what confuses people. People think that the banner or the food is going to access you to this NPC or see it. But it, that's not how it works. You need the buff right here. And you get this by crafting something in here. If you crafted everything, also all your dailies, you can always craft yourself a decoration unlocker to gain the buff if you want to. That counts as well towards that one. And also the decoration unlockers can be traded. It. So if you have extra and stuff like that, you can actually trade them and they're pretty high in price because uh, people want the lucky rainbow road that is uh, there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and craft the last things I need because I do have, you know, all the coins. I farm the coins so I can craft everything for the rest of the event. And I just have to make sure that I'm on the dragon light. Oh, I should have seen that actually. Um, it's only going to work when I do that and I can get another loop for this. So these two here, the loops are very, very profitable, but getting the coins is not that hard or the seven spices is not that hard. So I just decided um, actually I'm going to craft everything there is in here. So you can see the duration up here did not refresh. I also actually got all the recipes. So the coins I have left here is just for doing the rest of the, well, 13, 12 days uh, sort of that is left here. You'd only need 32 coins a day to craft everything and 18 spice. So just knowing that that's why I have so many uh, because I just found all the coins because I might as well it took me about three hours or so to get all the coins. And um, yeah, that's it. Now we can, it can go to step number four. Where we can find ourselves the NPC. All right, so for step number four, this is the NPC. And as you can see, I can see the NPC. As you can see, I can see the NPC. That was a CC, I guess, at CC plus, I don't know. <laughs> but that's because I have the buff. I'm gonna open my inventory right here. You can see I have no buff on, I have no banner on. I have the banners in here. This is my, of course, my <laughs> torch light. I can even equip this one, doesn't matter. Uh, but this one is, of course, I know it says something different uh, because there's a sort of a bug where, it, you know, the, the one you have, uh, style you have equipped uh, is also we can see right down here you can see style in the bottom house of Pentra battle stand and it's kind of turned into that or looks like that one and also the name takes that shape but you know the stats are the same and also sort of sort of called all things is still the same but as you can see I do not have anything but I can see the NPC right here if this is empty for you that means that you don't have the buff it's the buff that defines if you can see the NPC or not and here uh, right now I can't buy one of these uh, you know fragments but it's usually here if, if you can't find it here you know you just go to a different one. There is one right down here. Also one right over here. Very, very small. I know I can't zoom in because then it goes out of the picture. You can sort of see one up here as well or one up here as well. Usually uh, the, pri uh, the private, <laughs> I was about to say the private, the peaceful hills is where you're going to see them. So these uh, where there's no dungeons, right? Where you can put your cornerstone down pretty well has them, but you can also find them as I said in other biomes. This is a Jurassic one. Uh, there's not anything I can see, else. but they can also, you know, find there and you don't have to complete it. You don't have to gather three people or anything like that. You can see gather three trovins at that location. So there's nothing to do with that. You can still do it uh, without doing that. You can, of course, just gather three and that 
complete it, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's the buff that needs, and that's very, very key to getting this. And then I will, you will buy, of course, uh, this fragment because we need that to craft the uh, banner. And as I said, it's five different inventories, and you need ten of each of these, and they are not tradable. Uh, they're not tradable. Anything from this guy is not tradable. So if you have these things, yeah, maybe write them down. Like I said, there's five different inventories. So if I go to, for example, uh, oh, that's not that. Uh, this one up here, it might have a different inventory. And this one is, and if you can't find one, you can also just join a new world. It doesn't matter if it's U9 or whatever it is. You can just go and find yourself some peaceful areas. But it does have to be Uber and higher. So it do have to be uh, right here. Uh, Fae Forest right over here and higher before you can see them. It, you can't just go here. That's what I did in the my tutorial video or the, the guide video. I thought I could just go here, but it does have to be Uber 1 or higher to see these uh, here as well. So just keep that in mind, but it's all about the buff. I do have one more step because we're going to go back to the, uh, the, the crafting table and just finish off the video with that. But that's how you are going to go step by step through it all and obtain the banner so you can just get the food all in all. But uh, let's head into step number uh, five, also the last step. All right, so for step number five, if this would not hit me, we can, of course, equip our banner once again. As you can see, this is the boss room. Even though the uh, you know room is done, uh, it still works if I equip the banner. Now it's right up there. I just went to a different one so you guys could see. This was the one we were up there before. I just wanted to see that or show you that it works for all of them. And now, since we have that fragment that we need, you need... Um, three for the uh, pot of gold uh, and also the little lucky that's an ally uh, that's also going to cost you one so in total you need five but you only need one for the banner that's the one we want to craft and when you have the banner again it unlocks all the food so you don't need to use the food anymore and there's going to be somebody that's going to be pretty rude to me and interrupt the video but yes these these are the only things you need to craft the other ones are all coins all these things are coins these all are up there but this one is pretty cool because you can actually get a gain 250 uh, magic find uh, once a week for three hours if you craft this one and put it in your cornerstone or in your club world and you can just go up and it's going to cost you glim and flux and that's going to give you a buff for three hours so that's pretty cool as well you should look into that one as well we do have one in the club so if you're part of the club you can just go up and get yourself the buff buff once a week so it's uh, resets on reset day on mondays but yeah it is in the uh, you know in the club so you can just go ahead and get it there if you want to uh, but if you want one in your cornerstone or one in your own club you, of course you have to spend three of these but just run around to different npcs and you can buy them uh, for each one of them and i'm pretty sure that it's only one time buy so you have to find all the npcs uh, as well but it, the banner is the really only important thing that you need. Of course, maybe like priority, it would be the banner, maybe the ally, and then this one, because like I said, this is in the, it's in the club. And if you're part of the club, you can just get, and many, uh, all clubs are probably going to get this. So it's probably going to be all over the place because it's not that hard to get these fragments uh, as one. So you have the buff and such. So, but banner, get that one. And then you don't have to worry about the food any more. So I'm going to head out of this uh, dungeon right here and end the video i hope you guys found it very useful i just wanted to clear up a few things because i see a lot of people being confused about it that's why i made it and i hope you guys enjoyed it i tried to be as fast as possible explaining things as compact as i could but you know stuff do sometimes take a little bit of time to do so but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye